What is up guys and gals, it's Pickle here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another review. This time, I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a mystery. This is Nor Syndrome. It's a murder mystery, pixelated, generally created, uh, little indie game. Now, the point of this game is to go through different parts of the map and go through different places and find uh, clues to help you solve a mystery. It's a different mystery every time. It'll have different places, it'll have different maps of different places, and it's completely new every time. Now, the art style in this game is pretty nice. It has a little bit of a old school style, but 8-bit uh, kind of thing. It kind of reminded me a lot of L.A. Noir, but, you know, extremely pixelated and simplified. Now, you'll have a couple buttons. You have, uh, well, your main button is going to be Z. That is how you interact with the environment and investigate different people. You can pick up objects, you can pick up money, you can pick up food. You can do a lot of things with Z, and that's going to be one of your main things. Now, how you move around your screen is you have to move your mouse to left and right. You have to move it to the edge of the screen to be able to actually move. Now, X is how you shoot your gun. Now, for the objects in this game, lockpicks are going to be one of the main things you're going to need. Lockpicks open doors and safes and all other kinds of things. Now, there is another part to this game that I found a little bit annoying in one of my main pet peeves. The hunger. That's right. In this game, you have a time limit on hunger. If you don't eat, you die. And also, C brings up your notebook that'll uh, allow you to manage all your clues and all that jazz and solve the murder. But the main thing that the main thing I actually have a problem with with this game is the hunger. This game does a great job of doing a simplified murder mystery game. It does a great and perfect job of doing that. It has a great atmosphere. The music is incredibly involved into that. The feel is almost down to a T for a good murder mystery game. The hunger literally kills it. You will be in the middle of picking up clues and out in the middle of nowhere with nowhere to find food. You might not even have money, you might not even have the means to get money, and you will just die. Anyway, enough about that. In the game, you can go around to different places and interview different people. Now, it'll give you different clues, like one place may be, you know, fishy or something else, and, you know, you can go check it out, find some clues, come back. And in the end, you want to look over your clues, look over the descriptions, and all such things like that, like you would in a real investigation. Put two and two together, and figure out the main person. But, like I said, another thing you have to do is watch out for your hunger. Now, your hunger, believe it or not, still may or may not be your biggest threat. As you know, in the game, you have a gun. So that means you can shoot people if you wish, and you really just end up not caring. You can just shoot someone in the face. End of story, you either win or you lose. You could do that, you could completely just, you know, guess and shoot the first person you see, and you may or may not win. There's a highly chance that you're probably not going to. Now, here's the thing that I have a little bit of a problem with that it's not the hunger. In the game, you have to investigate everything, but be careful what you investigate you may run into a problem that I eventually ran into here. In here, I met the mob. Now, I'm just doing my random thing, I just go around investigating everything, and then boom. I accidentally stole from the mob. Now, you might not think this is a big threat, but in the next couple seconds, you're going to see exactly why. Yeah. You die quite fast. It's impossible to dodge or do anything to avoid the bullets. So, all in all, this game is a great murder mystery, it has a few quirks with, you know, gameplay mechanics. Uh, watch out for bullets, watch out for hunger, and uh, I hope you guys do find your murderer, murderer in your mystery. It has a couple other things like costumes and badges and other stuff like that. Now, this game is currently going for $6.99 and I would suggest you guys go try it out. I've been Pickle, this has been SteamFirst.com, I would like to thank you guys for coming out to another review, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys!